Hey people. Fox here taking a break. I mean I haven't been working for long today but it's midday. It's break time. After the last video I recorded, I thought that, you know, something different would be in order because I think that was kind of somber, but that did, that did maybe clear my head quite a bit. I mean, by the evening I was feeling much better. So before I go on the subject of this business of mine, uh, I think it's weird. Okay. I think it's weird that um, you can just in the morning be just down really really bad and in the evening you, you're alright, you're more than alright sometimes it's fucking weird you know sometimes you'd want to stay in a specific state for I don't know, days, weeks just so you can really understand some things you might not have when you're in a more neutral state of mind but you know the state of mind then that I was in the evening and this morning maybe now too it's um, it's very pleasant pleasant too but this won't last either and it's sad too I guess I'll go back to neutral soon enough and it's like a day will look like another day and there will be not nothing done really and you'll work you know you make I don't know what do I do what do I make right now I make 90 euros a day because I'm pretty slow and uh, the firewood the firewood here is um, it's pretty small most of the time but yeah mainly it's because I'm slow really but you know, starting out and everything. In the other days when I work with others, I have, I'm, more, I'm closer to around 200 euros a day. If I use my chainsaw, it's like 240. Well, yeah, this activity of firewood, not, not, uh, not great, but that's all I have right now. And I could ask for something else, but I, won't, I don't really want to. I want to finish this first. And I don't go every day here, too. In some days, I mean, it's autumn, so but this autumn is a little bit weird. We're nearing winter already. I didn't even realize it, to be honest. But, um... This autumn winter is it has been kind of violent which is not really surprising honestly but um, I, I was hoping that it wasn't going to be the case like like everyone really so some days you look at the forecast in the morning and you're like well what is it three millimeters of rain at 11 and uh, 60 <laughs> kilometers per hour gust of wind uh, yeah <laughs> I think I'm gonna go in today <laughs> for some it's all right you know they have many papers to do but me not really well I like it too just spending the day not doing anything I like it quite a bit kind of the reason I wanted to do this business is just take my take my time find my rhythm whatever rhythm is because when I make songs you know 
Uh, I always put the tempo at 120 because I like this like 60, 60, 60, 60, you know, a minute. Uh, you know, it's just nice thing with time, whatever. But uh, when I play, I don't really, I don't really care. I don't have the metronome going. I just play. Rarely, for some song, I do have it on, but that's rare. Like when I make ambient, I don't have the, I don't have it. Whatever. So yeah, uh, rhythm, right? <laughs> Sorry for the tangent. Uh, it's like. This kind of burns the nose for the pipe, but this is already rolled, and I feel like I get as much tobacco out of this these boxes of cigarillos as I would from a tin, from a pipe tobacco tin, 25 gram tin, mind you, not a 50. Well, these are nothing special, they are country cigars, they're all right. So you cannot find those in most tobacco, um, what the fuck, this, what's the name, tobacco sellers, whatever. And uh, they're better than most, I find, but I haven't tried everything. Go. Here. Okay. Just land it here. What is for that? Not hygienic, but you know, it's already leaves. Leaves on leaves with water and a little bit of dirt. Worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, I get a little bit sick, but I doubt it from this. Well, I mean, I might get cancer, but you know, at least it's not going to be the lungs. And best case scenario, it uh, strengthens my immunity system. Perks of working outside, too. Though I don't really deal with people much at all, so. If they're sick, I tend to get sick too, but since I don't deal with them much, um, I rarely get sick in the year. Even if I do get sick, it's like, whatever. Still, I still can work, so it's fine. Well, yeah, speaking of work, I don't go every day. Some days I like, yeah, well. Let's check the forecast. Do I go today or tomorrow? Okay, fuck it, I go tomorrow. Right now, it's not like I work, sorry, on average, three days a week. You know, at this rhythm, you're not gonna make the year. But plantation season is uh, right around the corner. And this, I expect to be planting many trees, maybe. And making making my ear this way. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but perhaps it will. I think it depends on me, because I've been told like, oh well, we have many many plantation plantations this year. Some we won't be able to do this year, so it's gonna be for the next. And we do need help, so if you want, you can come. I plan on doing that. I will be like 60 or 70 cents per uh, tree to plant. So if I can get 400 a day, which is uh, the average overall, overall, so that's like 500 in one day. 
because there are days you would you would not be able to plant. Well, if I can get into the rhythm of 500, which I doubt I will at first, uh, that's going to be a good year. Because the season lasts not for winter, but for early spring too. Which is great. But I think I'll try to get another thing on the side too. Maybe some firewood again. Just if I get sick of planting, I just can go uh, make some firewood, change a bit. So I know it will be much money. It's variety, you know. I think the mental state tends to be a lot more important than the money. Which, I mean, I'm doing this, so it's maybe proof of that, I don't know. Some days I really don't want to go do it, but you gotta do it, right? I think the, the most annoying part is not really walking here, it's getting there. One hour and 30 minutes of fucking driving, it's fucking annoying. One hour and 30 to get there, one hour and 30 to go back home. Three hours of driving every day, uh, maybe that's why I don't go every day. I know there's some lumberjacks that would like look at me weird, I and mean, maybe not just lumberjacks. And like, well, that's fucking usual, isn't it? Well, yeah, yeah, it is. But I don't like it. I don't mind being poor. And as long as I get as I get this business going, things are all right. I won't be paying much taxes on this anyway, considering how little money I'm making on the first year. Maybe the the, 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 the stage the, the status I can't change it but I would like to. But yeah I can't. But you know that's administrative stories and stuff. Well coffee's over. Funny how few birds you hear. Man, winter really is coming, isn't it? I don't really mind the silence. Just the leaves fluttering away. The wind going through the trees. And yourself through the trees. I don't mind the silence. Maybe it's the birds that are bothered by my voice. Oh well, it's not like I'm here every day. Well, speaking of birds, I hear some now. It's funny. Boy, well, yeah. Well, objective for the day is to finish clearing around this little part so I can link the open area I've done here, the open area I've done here. And that would be like, I think it's like 60 or 70 meters. That would be that. I'm not really sure. Then I would like, I have like 30 to 40 meters left. This way, that should take about a week. I'm not sure, maybe a bit more. Probably a bit more, considering I don't go every day. I don't know what's really how I can go and start this way, this last block. Well, not really the last block. The last block is the start, but that should take about a day or two. Probably two, two days, maybe three. But I do want to finish here, then I finish here. And uh, between you and me, I'm gonna get a few logs in my trunk. Just don't tell anyone. But I don't think the owner would mind too. It's like I w I'm not even gonna take a call. 
and give up. <laughs> oh, I just given how little I'm paid. Uh, I think it's all right. It's not really my choice, you know. That's why I'm just just saying this to the camera. But uh, hey, I haven't taken anything yet, and tomorrow I won't either. Yeah, you paid really not much at all for this. Really not worth doing if you want to make money. Or if you do it, you probably don't want to do it alone. This is the kind of job you want to be at least two to do. To at the end of the day make sure like, oh well, we got we got it, we got it. Because uh, yeah. When you're alone, cut down the trees, then you cut it in one meters or two meters, whatever the owner wants. Then you pile it up. Piling it up takes a lot of time, that's pretty crazy. That's why you should have one person just for piling it up or something. One person like, I don't know. But I understand why the Polish guys who come here to make the firewood, they're in teams like this. There's one guy that cut the trees, one or two guys that, um, you know, slice the tree. And then there's one guy that just piles it up. And the guy who piles it up, um, well, uh, he doesn't do that for very long, usually. <laughs> It's kind of the, the ungrateful part of this. You just break your back. If you're not careful, that's kind of why I have um, this tool. It's a bit slower, but it's a lot safer for the, it's better for the back. I think if you get used to it, uh, you're about the same speed as someone without it. I'm not sure, sure though. Anyway, I'm just kind of rambling about the business, about what to do. You know, as I said yesterday, it occupies the mind. I just don't think it's really the way of doing things either. Occupy occupying the mind with, with little things like this, it's nice, but I just don't like how long, how much it takes off out of your day. I'd rather it takes like at, at most a few hours. But uh, if I take the tra um, tra if I take the road into account, where do I work here? Five, six hours. So that's already not much, right? But then you add the the time on the road, and I'm like nine hours. <sighs> Maybe that's us the usual thing for most people. That like, oh, yeah, that's kind of what I do though. Like nine hours of work, and I, yeah, but that's fucking annoying, you know. That's why, I guess, when I work, was working part-time, it was pretty cool. In the end, didn't spend much time at work, even if it, felt, it kind of felt like forever, really. But uh, I could just exist, just be tranquil, you know, be all right, take my time. And when you were asked to be a bit fast at work where well, you never were asked because you already had all your energy and you were like enthusiastic enough to do what you had to do I had a someone tell me like well I'm kind of in awe well, not anyway, but um, impressed with how much you care for your mental health uh, that, that's kind of funny to me because I don't think that's true. If I like, cared that much, I wouldn't be writing what I write, and I wouldn't be... I don't think I would be an artist. Or a wannabe artist. I don't think I can call myself that, but... Creating, creator of things to read and to hear? I don't know. I try to put a part of my soul into things, and... 
I'm not sure it's, if it's radiant enough, but I think there's at least one person who get something out of it. Because myself, I don't know. I was kind of rereading parts of my past here and there. And in some ways, I'm kind of surprised how much I've changed and how much I haven't changed. The ideas are more or less the same, the core hasn't really changed, but it, it, it takes more space than before. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but yeah. I am smoking on top of the, of the fuel thing. It's, uh, <laughs> it's not the greatest idea, but hey, it's cold and it's pretty cold outside, so I think it's, it's fine. Is take some fire, have water. So, yeah. And funnily enough, as much as the fuel is quite expensive these days, well, it's not the most expensive. It's fucking funny. The oil is. When before it wasn't the case, I think. The oil suddenly took like 20 30 percent as a price increase and the motor oil, not much at all, and the uh, fuel for the chainsaw hasn't, I mean, of course, it moved, but compared to diesel, not much. It's more affordable. But yeah, what's funny though is when you get like, the already made um, mix of motor oil and uh, fuel. This shit, this shit is fucking expensive for no fucking reason, dude. Honestly, if you want to... I don't know if you care or not, but... If you're planning on cutting a lot of wood, just make your own mix. Just these already made mixes, there for people who rarely use the chainsaws. Because you can keep the mix like going for one or two years and if you do it yourself you probably want to use it in a few weeks at most or something <sighs> anyway i ought to get back to it it's been nice talking again i don't know if it's going back to what i used to do before maybe it is a bit and maybe that's kind of what I wanted to do with this. But yeah, during this one year of quite intensive studies and, and practice of the forest and this small worldview perspective change. Not really, I mean, yeah, it did change a bit, for sure. And the way I see the forest now is definitely different, even if I really didn't want to that to happen. But when you know how things go, difficult not to change it, this view of things. Open mind and all, but uh, you know, paradoxically, I think that if you have an open mind, the more you learn, the more you want to close your mind, because you're like, man, I don't want to, I don't want to believe what's in front of me. It can't be that bad, it can't be that bad, can it? Well, it tends to be, actually. Well, you know, that's how things are, I suppose. Maybe it's not all that bad. You know, the sun still rises up. The stars... Still, well, not right now, of course, but the stars still... They shine. Get to eat, get to drink, get to sleep, get to be comfortable. You know. Life is alright, after all. If things are fine like this, if I, if I could just keep going like this, just take my time, I think I could do, I could be doing that for years. But I don't think that's possible. I just want to take my time, dude. Just knowing that you have to align yourself to the world of man to take your time. 
because take your time for man is a bit different than take your time for yourself. And I don't want to change how I see this, how I interact with time, because these people, the average man and you know the bell curve and all that. I don't know which one, but I don't like that. I think they're silly. I don't think they're, you know, plopping down on your ass, watching TV at night, or watching a, a fucking movie on Saturday, some bullshit like that. I don't want to do that. I just want to keep having peaceful dreams. So my my last dream my last dream was was actually, actually quite violent. But uh, I suppose you can uh, the way I balance things is one extreme to another. Uh, it tends to work actually until I get really gravely injured, which happened already once or twice. Uh, so yeah, but uh, that's how I do things, I guess. Anyway, you guys done. <sighs> Wet ground, but just in case. All right, well, let's uh, finish this. Gonna take like three hours at the very least. <sighs> Gonna take a while, but you know, from the small wood I had this morning, this one is gonna be bigger. So I should have a bigger pile at the end of the day, which is going to feel better. Won't feel like I haven't done much. I'm looking forward to that. All right. See ya, guys.